All right, we are on our deployment server and we're going to make a UF a deployment client and set this up to have our apps, server classes, and clients. So we're gonna go into forwarder management under distributed environment. You can see we have one client phoning home. Uh, that's my Parallels Windows VM. Um, last phone home was three minutes ago. And we are under the, the clients section only for the deployment server. Uh, if we go over to our VM here, um, this is where we want to push the app of the Windows add-on to it through this deployment server. So we have our three main sections here of apps, server classes, and clients. We have one client in, that's great. Um, we now need to go into apps and add the app to the deployment apps of this deployment server. So if we take a quick look at the Splunk documentation here, um, for creating deployment apps, it basically tells you that you need to put the app um, in the directory that um, you're going to push it through. And then once you push it to that instance, um, it's going to live in Etsy apps. And you know you can push as many apps as you'd like from the deployment server out. And then you must run from the CLI, the Splunk reload deploy server command. Um, so that the deployment server is made aware of the new apps that you're putting into this deployment apps folder. So on our deployment server file navigation system, if we go into Etsy apps, um, you're not going to find the deployment apps in there. So remember it's Etsy and then just deployment apps instead of Etsy apps, which we're very used to. So in Etsy deployment apps, you can see it's empty. There's no apps currently in there. So we need to add our app to it. I've downloaded from Splunk Base the add-on for Windows. And if we grab it from our downloads folder on my local instance, uh, my Mac mini, I'm just gonna copy the zipped up uh, application and then we'll go back to Splunk Etsy deployment apps. And I'm just gonna paste it in here and then double click to extract it. And we now have the uh, Windows TA inside our Etsy deployment apps on our deployment server. So that is good to go. We have added an app. Now, um, in order to get the deployment server to be aware that we added an app to it in this folder, this is where we need to now run the command um, to make it aware of the changes that we have made. So we're gonna run the Splunk reload deploy server. We can go ahead and copy this and then run it on our deployment servers uh, CLI. I'm going to be in Splunk Home and then bin and we'll run this command. Uh, I'm just going to paste it in there and then add the dot forward slash to get it to go. Need to put in credentials. and it is reloading my server classes. Perfect. So now if we go back to our web instance of our deployment server and we click, we click refresh, we now have our deployment server. It's aware of the apps that we've uploaded into the deployments apps directory. And there is our Splunk TA windows. Um, so that is what we're gonna push out. Now we need to make a server class. So we're gonna create one, just gonna call it Windows Hosts. And this is where all my Windows hosts that are phoning home are gonna live. Um, we haven't any, hadn't add any apps yet or any clients, so we can just simply add uh, the Windows TA here and click save. Now our app section is all set, but we haven't added any clients. If you go into add clients, you'll notice that we don't have uh, one of our clients phoning home yet. Uh, that is because we haven't made uh, the Parallels VM Windows machine a client yet. We haven't made it a deployment client yet. It's just a Windows VM with a universal forwarder sending data over. So first order of business on this VM is to get it to be a deployment client. So we're going to go into um, Splunk Home and bin. Jeez, if I could type um, the path correctly here. 
Uh, we're going to go into Program Files. Mine's in the default installation path for Windows. Uh, Universal Forwarder. And we're going to go into bin. Because now we can run our Splunk commands from here. So the Splunk command to make this UF a deployment client is Splunk set deploy dash pull. And then the name of our Splunk server, that's going to be our deployment server. Um, I can never remember the name of my instance, but I think it's haleys-mini.lan. Uh, God, I'm not 100% sure on this. So let me just duplicate this tab uh, so we don't lose what we're working out of and make sure my server name is right. Um, so let's go to settings, server settings, general settings, and I'm gonna, yeah, I was correct. Just copy this over and uh, make sure there's no uh, typo errors here. I'm just gonna delete this, paste it. And then the uh, port, 8089 is the default port management for your deployment server. Um, so that is the command, enter your credentials, and this should go through. Configuration updated. So again, that was Splunk set deploy pull server and then uh, server port. Great. So now this should be a client. Uh, we also wanna restart this afterwards. So we're going to do a Splunk restart and let that uh, do its thing. Now that it's made a client, this should be phoning home and we should see that on our deployment servers uh, Splunk web interface. Uh, we also want to go into this path here and we don't see the app push to it yet and that is because we haven't added it to our class yet um, remember we only had the app in there but we don't have any clients in the server class of windows hosts so we can now go ahead and make a client you can see here that the vm is now populated since we made it a client um, we can filter on the host name it's just one here paste it in click preview and if you'll notice on the bottom left It'll show a check mark for matched. So if we include that parameter, that's the client that's going to be added. Now we have an app and a client within our server class. And the next time it phones home, it's going to deploy the Windows TA to it, um, as that's what's part of our server class. So very easy here, but just remember the three big parts here to a deployment server is apps, server class, and clients. Um, we can see that it's getting pushed out now. And if we go back to the VM, uh, it should populate here. Uh, clicking refresh, we don't have it yet. Um, let's just change the file path here and go into a couple of these and then go back into Etsy apps and, and there it is. There's our Splunk uh, TA windows, our Windows TA. So successfully pushed out to our Windows endpoint through our deployment server. That is how you do it. Review of some commands that you can also do is Splunk show deploy poll, um, just to see what's currently configured. If we put in the credentials, my deployment server URI is set to my server and my uh, default port for Deployment server management. Great. Um, just trying to think if there's anything else. Um, yes, actually, you do want to make sure that um, in your apps, uh, you want to go into edit for any apps that you um, put on your deployment server and check this right here, the restart Splunk D. When it pushes it out, it'll give it a restart. Um, we did it through the CLI. Obviously, that's not practical to do for um, scalability. So just make sure that is set.